Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you the JD Quick Flow Actions. So first thing we're going to do after we've pulled up our image is select whether we have a normal or underexposed shot or whether it's an overexposed shot. Now this one is normal to underexposed, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the play button here. Now just a really quick um, idea for what these actions are. These actions are built for uh, clean edits. They are built for fast edits. Um, I use these for my son's prom photo, or rather uh, homecoming photos. I use them on his baseball photos. I use them um, with images of, of family and friends. Stuff that I am I want to have a nice professional clean look to that I'm not going to do a, an intensive fine art edit on. So this is what the edit looks like just as a default here. So this was the before, here's the after. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open up this folder itself and we're just going to go in and fine tune, which is something that you can do here pretty easily. This is the exposure balance. This is what it did. It, it basically just added some detail. It filled in some of the areas that were too light and it lightened up some of the areas that were too dark to give us a little bit better balance. The next thing is we're going to choose between uh, close-up retouch or full body retouch and I'm gonna go ahead and select full body retouch and sharpen and then I'm gonna open up this folder and I'm gonna select this mask that says full body skin soften and using a white soft brush this one's set to about 40 percent here and we're going to just paint in to a few areas here maybe just to very subtly soften the skin. This Again, this is going to be a very clean retouch edit. Just soften up any little, soften maybe little veins that are showing on her hands, any little owies on the knee, uh, little under eye. Okay, so this is the before, this is the after, and then we're going to go in, if you want to, to areas like pink cheeks um, or softening green tones. So I'm going to go ahead and again I have my white color selected in the paintbrush and I'm just going to paint just a little bit of color here into her lips and into her cheeks. And let's say there was some areas that had gotten a little red. I could paint into the, this with reduced redness. Now that's not really an issue here. I'll just maybe maybe I'll paint here on the very side here in these shadows and in her hair maybe to reduce a little bit of redness uh, if I had that. So um, or I could skip it. You don't have to do any of these uh, optional things. It just really is. They're just there if you if you think that they would be helpful. Uh, here is brighten eyes. I am going to make my brush a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to softly go into this eye area. You see that I'm not being overly fussy because it's a subtle action. So it is brightening those eyes, but I'm doing it in a very subtle, quick way. Um, not in a fine art sense. Okay, uh, her teeth aren't showing, but if they were, I could opt to whiten them if I wanted to. This uh, is on as a default, and it just brightens the highlights. If you don't like it, you can simply turn it off. Now, in this section, I've given you some options to add a little shape uh, to your image, and in some ways, color if you want. Uh, this is an instant overlay that will warm the top and give you a little bit of a, a darker bottom and sides. It'll also warm the image all over. This warms the center with more of a vignette to the sides. This is again the top light and bottom uh, and side vignette, but this is neutral and same thing, neutral with more of a center light. You can add these, uh, you can mix, mix and match, you can uh, change the opacities on any of these. In fact, you can even shift where they appear. So you can pull it down 
Do you see how that highlight's moving? You can pull it down or uh, lift it up. It's, it's fully resizable. Um, so you can really adjust uh, the highlights and the vignettes to where you want them to be. Um, if you want, you can add a little warmth or you can reduce the warmth simply by turning these on. Uh, if you want to go in and customize a little bit, you can go in here and paint into the highlights. Again, I'm going to select my white brush. Uh, let's go with a pretty low opacity here, just 18%, painting right into this mask. Oops. And just painting in just a few little areas where I want there to be some highlights. I'm going to blur right into my mask. Just following where the highlights would would ordinarily be. I'm just brightening them up a little bit by hand here. And again, this is purely if you want to do this step. You certainly do not have to. If you're in a hurry, just, you know, Feel free to skip this. Just gives it a little more, a little more dimension if you want. Just you're basically non-destructively dodging and burning. I'm going to blur that one more time. All right, and then same thing. If you want to paint in a few shadows, I'm going to use a bigger brush this time, and. Uh, Adding a little more just a little bit more shape to my image but again completely optional if you're in a big hurry don't worry you do not have to do this and uh, now uh, there's a contrast adjust if you don't like the contrast I've selected or defaulted to you can change the opacity same thing with the saturation bump. You can change that opacity. And then there's a highlight tone adjustment as well that just kind of warms things up and makes it a little brighter. Now, here we go. Let's start edit. Now let's say you want to just add in some tonalities. Um, I have included 10 different tints and you can audition them all simply by hitting audition all tints. And you may, these may or may not work for you. Um, if you're a super clean editor, you may just want to use the product just with the actions um, that are already built in. If you want to add a little bit more um, tonality, uh, you can choose from actions like, or tints like Sugar and Spice, Rum Raisin, Peach and Aloe, Parsley and Sage, Mustard Seed, brown cumin, celery seed, caraway seed, bay leaf, and allspice. And I kind of like bay leaf, so I'm going to go with bay leaf here. And I am going to call this a finished edit. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope this product uh, can save you a little time while still offering professional results. Thank you so much for watching.